This rotation is like the perfect mix of seeing patients in office, in clinic, and in hospital, and also getting to do surgeries. What's up you guys, it's LaDonna. Welcome back to my channel. So if you have not seen any of my other clinical rotations, recap preview thing you can go ahead and type that into my search bar and all of those videos will pop up but today i am going to be talking about my women's health rotation slash my OBGYN rotation that is currently what i'm in right now i loved it oh my freaking goodness you guys i love this rotation and you know I've been trying to figure out like, oh, well, what can I do? Because in every rotation, like once you get into clinical year, you'll see this. In every rotation that you go in, you're like, hmm, I could see myself in emergency medicine or, huh, I can see myself doing CT surgery. Like you literally, every rotation that you're in, you can see yourself doing. But I can absolutely see myself doing OBGYN because it kind of checks off all the boxes that I wanted to do and it fills the space of some of the things that I did not necessarily like for my other rotations. This rotation is like the perfect mix of seeing patients in office, in clinic, and in hospital, and also getting to do surgeries, right? Because you're doing a lot of cesareans, um, you're helping out or going down to like look at the different GYN surgeries as well. And I'm sure if you're with like a private practice, depending on what affiliation that physician has, you will be the one that is doing all of those surgeries with them or you'll just kind of be in the office. So it depends on where you're working. Like currently I am in a hospital, a teaching hospital that has a well, it's not really a free clinic, but kind of like a sliding scale clinic that is attached to the hospital where you see patients in the clinic and then you can also see all of the inpatient um, patients that are coming in through the ED or just coming in for regular checkups um, because there are like ultrasounds and sonographers that are doing stuff across the hall from us and if they are going into labor like the women that are coming to be seen by then then they come and go to our side and you know we have to admit them and put them on L&D and then see them on the unit like the mother baby unit so it's really really cool um I've had an amazing time thus far currently like to you know I'm going to go on this thing called the baby bus where they take like a bus and they go to some of the more impoverished areas in the city and they provide gynecological care for these women for free and plug them into different GYNs so that they can actually keep up on their care. So it's really, really cool. I'm excited about it. This is my first time doing it. It's very cold outside, so hopefully we'll still have like a lot of patients coming through, but you know, it's something that you're, it's a way of giving back. So it's not just seeing patients in the house, but you're also giving back to the community on a different level for free, Ex like free, completely free, which is really, really cool. And I really love that. So, so right now I am really loving my women's health OBGYN rotation. I would love to probably get you know my first job in that area and maybe like also kind of have another job on the side to kind of just do some extra work because they work 324s now i know you hear it 324 is like a 24 hour shift what the hell however they only have to work three of those in a two week period so a lot of the times they'll work like 224s in you know like a week and then they'll have like seven days off and then they'll work the last 24 um, the following week. Which is cool because you can go on amazing vacations every two weeks. <laughs> like it's, it's pretty amazing. Like you're at home with your kids, with your family, just chilling. You guys can go travel um, and you don't have to take PTO time. So I don't know. I'm kind of feeling that. My husband on the other hand aunt is like, uh uh you're not going to be away from us for 24 hours. But I like it. I think it might be cool. Um, I work 312s in my critical care rotation. And then, um, you know, I was just kind of like an 
eight hour shift for five days in my other rotations well 10 hours in emergency medicine so there are various different schedules that you can have which is another really cool thing because um, you can choose what works for you and choose what area works for you so I'm loving it you guys I will keep you guys posted on my other rotations I have trauma next Oh my freaking goodness. I'm so nervous and so excited all at the same time. I need to like freshen up on my suturing skills. I'm doing that like it's been pretty cool because in every rotation that I've had, I've had to do some form of suturing. So, you know, I'm staying fresh, but I definitely need to kind of just freshen up a little bit more on like my sub Q stitch um, and just kind of Get ready for trauma because I will be doing it in two weeks, you guys. That's two weeks. So I'm excited about that. Stay tuned for that. I will tell you all the different traumas that I've seen and um, how I feel about them. Well, if you guys have any other questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching and following me on this journey. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel right now and follow me on Instagram at Adana the PA. Oh, I love you guys. You guys are the best. I will talk to you guys next time.